Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, nerdlings of all ages, welcome to the WCS Winter Circuit Championship Qualifiers. We are here in the round of eight in the winner's bracket, and this is the final EU qualifier. Spawning in the bottom position on Dusk Towers, representing Millennium, it is our red Terran player, Daishi. His opponent spawns in the top position as the blue Protoss player playing for Planet Key Dynamics. It's none other than Kung Fu Panda. Pretty cool start to our games today. Now, don't forget, this determines who qualifies for a spot at the Intel Extreme Masters, the WCS Winter Circuit Championship. Uh, we are going to be going into all the way to the end of the bracket. A number of players will qualify, and the loser of this best of three does not yet fall out. You can go through the lower bracket for two of those spaces as well. Grand total of four players will make it through today. So all very exciting. We are going to be going into best of fives a little bit later on as well. So we have the Nexus coming down for Kung Fu Banda after the gateway. Nothing out of the ordinary there. And we see the double racks approach from Daishi. We're not going for a third one. We already have the command center going down on the low ground here. The probe is just going to check out what's going on. We'll do a little bit of sniffing on those SCVs. Not too much though, just keeping a little bit of mining time from Daishi. Nothing too far out of the ordinary. And I'm almost certain Kung Fu Banda will be spotting that a command center has gone down before going out of the base. Or no, he doesn't. Maybe he just simply assumes it's there. He has seen the third barracks go up as well. So uh, very interesting there that a Gung Fu Banda not going for that scout in case it's some sort of crazy one base play. But, you know, you can always assume that players at this level are just doing their kind of normal builds. It's dangerous to assume that, don't get me wrong. But quite a lot of the time, that's fine. And in this case, of course, we do have the orbital coming down. So it's not like that's about to get punished or anything like that. So we just have Marines coming out of these barracks so far. We do have gas mining, but there are no Reapers on the field as things currently stand. So it's purely for defensive purposes. And Gung Fu Banda has backed out with this probe to put in a sneaky snake pile. And that's because we're going to be seeing a proxy Stargate here. Alright, so this could end up being very fun indeed, and of course, there's a lot of airspace moving into this natural expansion here, so these SCVs potentially could be very, very exposed to some Oracle play in the early stages of this game. So that's going to be his chosen tech, which is why back home it looks all fairly standard with just the one gateway down at the moment, nothing out of the ordinary here just yet. In the meantime, Daishi moving out across the map just with five marines at the moment, just maybe spotting to see if there are any sneaky probes, if a mothership core is hanging around here or there, and uh, if he can maybe snipe a couple of units. He is walling off at the front. Of course, Adept's very annoying to have to come in. And we have a scan going down inside the main base, sees a grand total of a gateway in a cybernetics core. So this should be a clue that something is going on here. We have indeed got an oracle being chrono boosted out. There are five marines in the mineral line already, so not opting to go for a missile turret, just keeping marines there. Do we have any in the mineral line here? We do as well. So Daishi is prepared for this eventuality. We have a factory coming out now. Stim is on the way, and we'll be keeping an eye on this oracle as it pops out. Here it comes from Kung Fu Banda. And okay, he's not actually moving it just yet, but he will. He's actually going to be waiting for two of them to go at once, and that could genuinely be a problem for these Marines that are stood over here. I'm not sure they can take two Oracles at all. So we're going to see what the reactions look like, and possibly waiting for the second Oracle is in response to the scan that went down inside the main base earlier. So Twilight Council is being warped in. We have a defensive sentry popping by here at the moment as well. Mothership Corps is supporting the third Nexus. So off the back of this, Kung Fu Banda is going to be macroing up. Here come the two Oracles moving towards the Terran base here. We can see there are Marines. There are no missile turrets though. And they're going for it. First Oracle close to death, but all of the Marines will successfully go down. And these two Oracles are doing work right now, doing a fantastic job. Number of workers killed this game so far, seven and counting, and picked off an awful lot of Marines as well. If you take a look at resources lost, well, six Marines down, seven workers down, waiting for the second Oracle has certainly paid off here for Kung Fu Banda. And it looks like he's decided a bit of pressure is the order of the day off the back of this too. 
We have Blink being researched, three more gateways coming down, and we also have, uh, back at home, ooh, well, a lot more Marines here now, so those two Oracles aren't going to be able to do too much more, and we can see that missile turrets are now starting to go up for Daishi. Starport down as well, and it's going to be a little while before you can grab a whole bunch of medevacs in with this army. Those oracles were spotted over here to the right-hand side. A missile turret is there to sort of stop them in their tracks, though, and a lot of marines are now moving out towards a third base location. Oh dear, and one of the oracles does go down. Very nicely played there, actually, from Daishi. Kung Fu Banner lapsing a little bit, but Daishi had to move forward, had to be very quick with that stutter step to get that one oracle, and he did successfully do that with Stim. So, a good little bit of reactions there. We have a uh, another gateway being proxied here. I mean, why not? If you're proxying one building, you might as well go in uh, full ham. Can't complain. Two more gateways coming down now, which will bring the grand total to seven, by the way. Uh, for Kung Fu Banda at the moment. He is comfortably mining off of three bases. The third orbital command is only just starting now for Daishi. And the income at the moment, well, comfortably ahead for Kung Fu Banda, even taking mules into consideration. The second oracle goes down as well, so even though that revelation pops out on Daishi, all of these units will get seen. Uh, the unbuildable bricks will also be spied upon. I don't think that's going to be of too much value, but Kung Fu Banner is moving out now. With a grand total of what looks like eight stalkers, two, no, three adepts, make that nine stalkers, and five sentries. And we've got a good number of warpins coming over here as well. It looks like he's slowly building his base towards a Terran at this point as well. And now Daishi has to be rather careful. There are only two medevacs with this army. He can't afford to overstim. Moving up the ramp. Spots that the bunker is building. Good blink away to preserve all of those units. Waiting for the adepts potentially to do some trouble. The bunker is going to complete though. There's not much in the way of stopping that. Two adepts go down very cheaply. And Daishi will be able to fortify his position on the top of this ramp. Now... Kung Fu Banda, has he, I mean, he, ideally he'd have like a couple of Immortals in here so he can sort of blast through the front, do a lot of damage to the bunker, do a lot of damage to those Immortals. That doesn't look like it's going to happen at the moment. A couple of deaths popping in now. Force Field's going down to prevent any repair on the bunker, but a lot of bio and a lot of DPS is with Daishi on top of the ramp right now. Supplies 120 to 107 supply, and once again, Kung Fu Banda is having to move back, getting a sentry picked off in the process as well, and the resource is lost. Uh, despite... A massive early lead for Protoss there has actually evened out. Gung Fu Banda has not found a way through. Just yet. Robotics facility only just now completing inside the main base. Uh, we have, wow, a triple medevac. Oh no, one of them instantly going down here as well. As Daishi tries to circumnavigate his way around the map, he's going to move past the proxy. But the blink forward with the stalkers is going to force this army to engage. Is there a remaining army coming out here? Not really. Triple medevacs worth of units were quite a lot here. And I wonder if this gives Kung Fu Banda a good opportunity to move up the ramp and engage once again. This army looks significantly smaller than it did previously. And while these units are a threat, they cannot win the game on their own. Here come the Adepts. They're going around the bunker. Are they going to form the vanguard of this attack? Yes, they are. SCVs getting pulled straight away. Excellent! Force fields keeping basically all of the SCVs out. That's really good positioning for Kung Fu Banda. The remainder of those forces are now moving out behind. They will be able to pick off the reinforcing pylon here, but the rest of the army is going down at the third base. I'm not too sure what Daishi's going to be able to do. He is down to 87 supply versus 130. He's going to have to move his third base back into his natural Kung Fu Banda, making some great gains in terms of movement. Uh, picking off an extra SCV. This guy really wants to die, and it looks like... Oh, he doesn't quite get his wish! This guy! This guy! Ned! We're going to call him Ned. He is strong, and he's on two hit points at the moment, but this army cares more about the barracks right now. No adepts have snuck into the main base. Ned, what are you doing, mate? All right. Ned has decided he's had enough. He's going up to the top of the ramp and building a bunker. But Ned is on two hit points. And Kung Fu Ban is going to see Ned. Maybe. Ooh! Eating the Widow Mine there, unfortunately. And Ned does... Ned! Okay, finally goes down. Ned is a hero, ladies and gentlemen. There will be a memorial. But unfortunately, that in itself does not guarantee him the victory at the moment. We have a triple drop. Uh, not completely full of units. In the meantime... Uh, possibly forcing the 4th base to cancel. Ooh, with two Immortals here. Actually, I might beg to differ. That is a lot of DPS. He's going to have to force it to cancel and run. Run like there's no tomorrow. There we go. So that gets forced to cancel. 
Uh, only two medevacs left. You're moving into the main base, which I guess is brave. But then again, there's not an awful lot here to defend right now. We're going to have to have a warp in back home. Gung Fu Banda with a sizable army preventing Daishi from taking his third base again. Photon Overcharge will force those medevacs to move away, and we have... No, we're going to be more offensive with our warp-ins here. Don't forget that these proxy buildings are still happily around, and now we have a massive break-in up top. The bunker has gone down, therefore there is room for Adepts to come in here. That's Ned's brother. And he's going to go as well. The remaining two medevacs of units are coming back because a massive hold might be required here. Gung Fu Banda needs to make sure he doesn't get too much damage done with that Widow Mine. We'll spot that. Here come the Adepts. Are we going to do it? No, we're not going to do it just yet. He sees the Widow Mine. Good blink away. There we go. He manages to stop the shot. Oh, and an excellent force field means that Daishi is only fighting with half his army. Oh my god. MVP force field, ladies and gentlemen. Great stim into absolutely nothing. And Gung Fu Banda only has to deal with half the army at once. There's still an awful lot of DPS here. And Daishi will probably just force Gung Fu Banda back. But can you imagine how effective the Terran army could have been? if you actually had both halves of these army attacking at the same time. That was a huge, huge play for Gung Fu Banda there. And Daishi currently still reeling. Fourth base now for Gung Fu Banda on the right-hand side this time. Daishi looking to close off uh, the proxy buildings here, but look at how much of this army is on orange and red health. I'm not 100% certain he's going to be able to hold out here. The Immortals are joining the fray as well. There's the offensive link forward. The Medevacs are getting targeted down now as well. And Daishi is going to have to fall back. He is down to 76 supply. This base is back down here, but for how much longer? With two Immortals and the Mothership Corps supporting at the moment, I really don't think he's going to be able to hold out for very long at all. The Adepts are coming in. Time Warp going down on the ramp. GG from Daishi, and game number one is going to go to Gung Fu Banda. Just want to say, my cable cancelled my command center at 99%. Oopsie daisy, GG, and Gung Fu Banda takes game number one of this best of three.